We're in the summer of 2019, and she's telling me she's picking this guy from her church on her way back to Ohio from Pennsylvania, so she doesn't have to drive alone. <laughs> Little did she know what will be in store for both of them. Oh, he was biking through Europe and sending her postcards through his trips. But, you know, he was just a friend. <laughs> and now it's July 4th, 2020, in the middle of a pandemic. And this not so little, little sister of mine is getting married to one very special young man. Nathan, you are so lucky to be spending the rest of your life with Dahlia. She's the most loving, caring, honest, determined, talented young lady I know. Two years ago for Father's Day, we as a family took our dad to a Reds baseball game and Nate asked if we would mind if one of his buddies came with us. <laughs> now, this wasn't new for Nate. Uh, we had kind of gotten used to him inviting his pals or even just random people off the street that he had met over for Sunday dinner or family events. Well, when we got to the game, we realized that his buddy was a beautiful young Egyptian girl. This is when the light bulbs started going on in our heads. Okay, Nathan, a girl, hanging out with the family without other friends around, Nathan's acting weirder than normal. <laughs> this could be a thing. Well, throughout the whole game, I can remember giving Nate the look, like, uh huh. How did you miss me? <laughs> and exchanging glances with my siblings while trying not to be too obvious. Well, the game ended. We had a good time, and we all waited at home for Nathan to get there so we could grill him about this girl. When we asked about her and if this was a thing, Nate kind of gave us his sly, grinning look and said, I don't know. <laughs> and we all looked at each other thinking to ourselves, what girl comes to a baseball game with a guy's family without being interested just a little bit? Well, I found out later, Dahlia does. <laughs> Your love for God, as it grows, will grow you closer together in every way. And when we love God with all our hearts, we'll love our partner in marriage with a pure love, a love that is patient and kind and is not jealous, a love that does not brag and is not arrogant, a love that does not act unbecomingly, and a love that does not seek its own, a love that is not provoked when you could be. A love that does not take into account a wrong suffered when you could take it into account. For as much then as Nathan and Dahlia have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same by the giving and receiving of rings, by virtue of the office entrusted to me as a minister of our Lord Jesus Christ, and according to the laws of the state of Ohio, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Just before we <laughs> uh, I, how about that? I didn't hear a yeeha. <laughs> but we'll get that later. Father, we thank you for what you've done today in bringing this couple together and launching them on a new journey for the rest of their life that will glorify you. We pray that you would be in their lives in every way and you would be the master of everything that they are and become in their family and in their home. In Christ's perfect name we pray, amen.
It gives me a special pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Sheridan. I want everyone to raise your glasses. I'm going to do a little bit of a toast here. May they always be best friends. May their love forever grow. May they always seek each other and through seeking each other find God. <laughs> 